Eat the burbs. What's up, chat? Good, good evening. I've been learning that song on uh, on guitar. Uh, so Rocksmith has a very cool thing about it where it's very easy to mod. Uh, and so I downloaded obviously a bunch of Red Vox songs and uh, Scoot the Burbs is one of them, which I don't understand because as far as I know, Scoot the Burbs isn't actually a Red Vox song. It was just made by Vinny. I could be wrong though. Um, but yeah, so I've been learning. That's like my most learned song on Rocksmith is Scoot the Burbs, and it's been stuck in my head for the past few days now. So uh, I had to share that love with you. Other than that, though, um, every other song, I decided if I alienated people immediately by playing Splatoon music, uh, then the real ones would stay. Uh, and then negative XP is negative XP. So a lot of people will probably have opinions about them if they've ever listened to them. Uh, but I really like I am an MK Ultra uh, victim. Uh, it's, a, it's a good song. I saw someone mention MK Ultra uh, elsewhere, and uh, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna play that before the stream. Uh, so that's what I did. Anyway, it's time to post it. Please, please shoot. I don't know why I'm playing shooters so much lately, but it's just where it is. Oh, Splatoon. I thought that was Anamanaguchi. Nah, it's uh, Chirpy Chips, which is a band in Splatoon. Uh, the first song I played was actually someone they made like a fan rendition of a Chirpy Chip song. Uh, if that makes sense. They basically were like a fan made What If Chirpy Chips did a cover of Buddy Holly. So uh, that's the first one I played because if I'm not on a fucking kick for something stupid, I'm on a kick for Weezer. <laughs> um, we should finish uh, this game tonight. I have to make sure uh, as far as custom songs go for Rocksmith, I've also uh, made sure to get the entirety of Pinkerton because, you know, I need to learn how to play uh, across the sea. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I had uh, my brother, he, uh, he, he pretty much recommended that I download a bunch of Crush 40 songs. Uh, and nobody has made a beat map for. Uh, the original version of City Escape. Which is kind of weird, but... Oh! Oh, my friend, this game doesn't make, doesn't make you, like, die when you fall. But I was a little disappointed. I was like, no, uh... No City Escape. Ain't no Butt Rock, like, Sanic Butt Rock. What is Butt Rock? The Scoop the Burbs Butt Rock? If I can fly, I'd be a bird! Get the burbs! But they did have I Am All of Me, so we're gonna get that Shadow the Hedgehog uh, goodness. Scoot until I'm fucking pregnant! Until the piss runs down my thigh And I just scoot the burbs Bolstal drain damage Drain damage Drain famish See I want to make music that is far worse than any butt rock you've ever heard Butt Rock is the kind of stuff mainstream rock stations would play in the early 2000s advertised as nothing but rock. Oh, you're listening to WTIT, the tits. Playing nothing but rock. This isn't your father's rock. WTIT.
can't remember. Uh, I know it's like mostly West stuff is uh, K in their call signs, and then uh, East is uh, U. But I don't remember the um, what the divider is. I know it's like some river. I think anything east of a specific river is uh, W, and then anything west of that river is K. Fun fact, if you didn't know that. Oh. I feel like I, uh, missing something? Should be able to get over there now. Do you like mug root beer? I do like mug root beer. I'm missing something. What's that, uh, what's that root beer? That soda with, with the dog on it? Mug? Mug root beer? Yes, I can also rip off Joel, too. I'm not just Vinny at home. <laughs> you know, the version you get when, uh... That's just absolutely just worse. Hey, yeah, it's hot out. It's Mug. Mug? It's Mug? What's that drink people make uh, out of fucking uh, cough syrup? Is it with codeine? What the fuck is codeine? But, well, yeah, what, what's that shit? That shit they make with codeine. The rappers drink it. Mug, mug gaming? I think it was called askew or something. Askew. Really think people fucking drink askew? Oh. I'm like really like not doing well. Not in a good place. I don't mean mentally. I mean, I'm in the Death Star. It's still brain damage. Yeah, motherfucker, eat a dick. Holy fuck, it is fucking fuck. That's right. I get these Ava Mouse. Speaking of uh, Red Vox, though, uh, recently, I don't know if it was since the last time I streamed or not, uh, but the their new single came out, Forget Her. Uh, serious root beer taste. A and W low key tastes like vomit. Okay, I'm gonna be real, you cheap, right? As much as I like to meme about like mug, right? Like, don't get me wrong. Right? I actually like the taste of mug, right? If I were to go for like regular root beer, right? Not like like fancy root beer, right? Um I would uh I I would actually say A and W tastes like vomit. I agree. I uh I was in Las Vegas a few months ago and I went to 7 Eleven. And I got myself an A and W because it was the only root beer they had, and it—I wanted to fucking puke. Like this is not an exaggeration. Uh, it was actually like fucking disgusting. Uh, I've never tasted anything so foul in my life. Uh, and I ate an MRE pizza. Don't mix root beer and booze. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, when Pulse the Dude says fuckity fuck, it's funny. When the reboot Saints Row says fuckity fuck, it's cringy. Oh, I actually forgot they even made uh, a reboot. Uh, these fucking UFOs have balls. Yo, they have balls, uh, balls, Guarana. It's like, 
a really good energy drink, but I swear to God, I can't drink it because everyone's like, ha ha, ha, you got balls in your mouth. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm slurping down some balls. Uh-huh, you know me. Nothing like the nice, refreshing taste of balls in my mouth. Oh my god. For me, root beer only tastes good when it's made with real sugar, but it's expensive and hard to come by. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, Mug definitely, I wouldn't say it's the best root beer I've had, obviously. I just like Mug because it kind of became like an internet meme, and I kind of MK would myself uh, into uh, drinking it. But, um, there's a really good root beer that I can get around here. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else. Uh, it's called Virgil's uh, And that's also like double a meme because you know Virgil But um They're good uh, And then Jones Soda makes really good root beer Wait the fuck is that gun? It's a cat vacuum? Yeah, it's a cat vacuum Mug was $35 at your local Walmart? Are you, what the fuck? The fuck? I go to Safeway and Walmart, uh, not Walmart, uh, Mug is like, buy two, get one free for like, you know, you... <laughs> well, pack? Bro, what? <laughs> what the fuck are you living, bro? <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's expensive. A 12 pack of soda is 35 bucks. I think the foulest drink I ever had was gin tonic. That tastes like moist. Okay, the most foul drink I ever had if it was, um, we we're talking about alcohol. Uh, there was a bar that I went to, and they had a drink called drink the Idios Mio. And uh, oh my god, if I wasn't saying that by the time I took a sip, because it, it was like club soda, uh, or it was it? Yeah, club soda, uh, gin, and like jalapenos. And it was fucking disgusting. Uh, me and my friend, we both ordered one. He did not drink his. Uh, me being uh, the stingy motherfucker I am. Uh, I finished it just on the basis of I paid money for this. My god, I'm gonna get drunk. And uh, oh boy, that was actually the first time I ever got drunk too. Like, I've gotten like tipsy before. Um, but I've never actually gotten drunk before that night. And that was like the first time I ever had like actually experienced drunkenness and or and a hangover uh ever gotten a long island iced tea you get get slammered in minutes is this a joke because i'm from long island uh but actually to answer that question i've never had a long island iced tea it feels kind of uh kinda, it feels kind of weird to, like be from the place and they never have it but you know whatever I'm just, you know, piss. Yeah. Piss. All right, R. Let's get the spicy piss. I get the feeling it's gonna burn more than once. Super laser piss? Nah, dude, spicy piss. Okay. Why not pee? I let it burn like George Bushy. I kind of forgot a few lines there. It's when I pee, it burns. I let it burn like George Bushy. I regret to inform you. I fucked a girl's pussy. For a man, I didn't know Jake. Yeah, I knew all along. Pretty sure I've already done that. In one of these parts. Hey. This game feels like the unholy child of Serious Sam, Halo, and Doom for some reason. It definitely has some Serious Sam level design, and it has some very clear Doom Eternal inspiration. Halo. 
Maybe? I don't, I'm not sure if I'd say Halo, but... Perhaps? Okay, more than zero gravity. Speaking of which, I bought the first three Serious Sam games. Let me tell you what, that shit is hard but fun. Serious Sam, I got the first encounter. Uh, and I unfortunately just cannot get into it. I have like, I pretty much have like almost all the Serious Sam games on that are on Steam. At least the ones actually made by Cryteam. Whatever the fuck they're, they're called, I remember. I always feel like I'm referencing Crytek when I say Cryteam. But, uh, my friend who likes Serious Sam says, uh, don't bother because the second encounter is just way better. Um, and then, like, I tried playing Serious Sam 3 and... <laughs> Pro Team. Is it from Croatia? Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew it was something like that. What the fuck is cry team? Is that anything? Did I just make shit up? I was like, trying to get, trying to buy Conan Exiles, the original Dawn customization game. You can enslave people there. Uh, from what I understand, that game's like Rust, and I'm not really a big fan of Rust. Minnesota root beer is good. I think I saw you say that already. Is it, uh, is it from Minnesota? But, uh, yeah, I don't know. If it's a game like Rust, I've played enough Rust to know that I don't like games like Rust. <laughs> You're thinking of Crytek. Yeah, that's what I was like thought I was like like Crytek, I know Crytek. What can I do this? Crytek makes Hunty Showdown. It's like Ark in reality. Yeah, but to me, Ark is also like, uh... Ark is also like Rust. Also, that's kind of a hard sell too, because I don't really like Ark. <laughs> Wasn't there a new Serious Sam or something? If there is, I already forgot about it. There was Serious Sam 4, which I heard was pretty mid. I don't know. I feel for serious Sam fans. All right, let's take out this Illuminati with my dill. I love that legally distinct War in the Stars music. <laughs> it's pretty good how close it is, though. Sometimes I forget that it's not actually the Star Wars music. Makes me want to play uh, Shadows of the Empire. It's a dild. Just sticking out of them. Why did it fart? What? Buttons aren't supposed to fart. No More Heroes did that too, it was a great joke. I I still need to play that game. I've never played a No More Heroes game. Now they're on PC and they're controller only. That's one piercing arrow there. Oh my that's a real penetrating arrow, no? I don't really know what I did in that room, if I did anything. I feel like I just killed some shit and then went on my merry way. The dude's arm looks kind of gangly there. Does it not? Get some quick saving. I have a feeling I'm gonna die horribly. Need space cartridge? Just don't start with the new ones. They're... They sure are games. For which games? 
I don't know if we're still talking about No More Heroes or uh, a Serious Sam. The music is making me expect some Jedi's fighting in the background. Oh. No More Heroes. Well, there's only, uh, well, there's three of them, right? There's one, two, and three. Then, like, the weird, like, side game that was, like, on Nintendo Switch. I figured, you know, it'd, it'd be easy enough to kind of navigate No More Heroes, right? Just play it in. I feel like this, the music in this game tries to be like legally distinct, or at least, you know, the combat music. Sounds like he's trying to be legally distinct Mick Gordon. <laughs> I like how uh, Argent Metal, quote unquote, is like a genre that's popping up, which, uh, I cracked the code. One or two are the ones to play. Super, do you want to kind of lost his mind recently? More so than usual. I was about to say. But I cracked the code to Argent Metal, as it's called by some people. Um, you see, uh, the trick is to use the a fuck ton of distortion and just loosen your guitar strings uh just absolutely fucking like abysmal uh because I, I was playing some uh some doom songs in rocksmith and i've noticed the custom tuning uh rocksmith was actually like hitting me with like concern they're like hey dumbass are, are you sure you're not playing a bass uh you got some really low notes there bud what's going on big guy I'm like, no, no, I swear, this is just custom tuning by an obscure Soviet synthesizer. Yeah, and make sure uh, for any electronic parts, just sa sample a fucking lawnmower. And, and bam, there you go, you have Argent Metal. Like, I mean, like, you turn, turn, you tune that E string. To like fucking, I don't know, just as low as you can, right? Fucking B, I don't know. A, G. Fucking loosen that thing all the way. Yeah, you know how loosen that G string. <laughs> Maybe I missed one of those cartridges up here. I didn't, like, you just play open notes because God fucking help you if you try to fret that thing. You have to push down so hard. I feel like I, I missed something. What's going, what's going on, big guy? Really? Nothing? Drop kicked D tuning? <laughs> you want to tune that thing back down to E, but in a new octave. I'm gonna grab me some more pork and pepper stew. Yo, that sounds good. I had some lentil soup. For lunch with a with a baguette. Some good shit. I remember completing Lego Star Wars PS2 and reward a sneak peek for its sequel. Yeah, looking back though, it's kind of messed up, right? They already had like a game like ready to go. I mean, I really like the Lego Star Wars games. To push some buttons. But, uh, yeah, at least the original Lego Star Wars and the original trilogy were both good. Why can't I use that? I don't understand. I feel like... It's in something, but I don't know what. I made some beef stew paprika paprika goulash. Absolutely decadent. Yummy. I bought some paprika, because I'm pretty sure you, you mentioned paprika uh, last time. Or, I say last time, but uh, the last time I talked about my beef goulash. So I'm absolutely prepared. I actually hit some of my lentil soup with the paprika. Uh, it, you know, 
pretty good. The paprika is good, right? And then I've got garlic and onion because those are always just free flavor. They literally are just delicious no matter what you put them in. Paprika makes the world go around. Oh, goddamn. It was only the prequels that made up the game, so it was only logical the rest of the movies would make up part two. Yeah, but ain't it just a little messed up? Paprika is awesome. Love that movie. I've actually never watched Paprika, but my only like uh, my only motivation to do so is because it has a soundtrack by Suzumo Hirasawa, and uh, that man's music is fucking amazing. So you know. Oh, speaking of goulash, synchronicity engaged. And yet we aren't playing the synchronicity prologue tonight. Really should have. But yeah, uh, a lot of the times I have that music in my playlist sounds like a total trip. Yeah, it's really good. I used to, I remember I used to listen to a lot of, uh, like, Suzuma Hirasawa's uh, Berserk music, and uh, that would come up in, like, autoplay a lot, too. The OG LEGO Star Wars is pretty lit. Not sure what the new one is. Uh, it seemed like it was pretty alright. Uh, I know there's, like, a mission or something in uh, the new LEGO Star Wars called Better Call Mall. And uh, that's about the extent of my knowledge, other than that it's Lego Star Wars. And you know, I'm always happy to, always happy to see a Saul reference. I miss that era when Star Wars was good before Michael Rat came. I too miss when I like Star Wars. I have a friend who he, uh, he'll complain about how shit Star Wars is, and then just be like, I have a tattoo of this. <laughs> the new one has pretty much all the sins of modern AAA games. You can get the OG for like $10 and have a great time. That's disappointing. Where's this, uh, where's this cartridge that I need, though? What? I feel like my head isn't screwed on right. <laughs> what am I looking for? Well, I know what I'm looking for, but like, where is it? Should be obvious, right? No one can endure Daisy Ridley's face any longer. She can't act to save her life. Wide open eyes and mouth gaping. That's a porn star. All right, you're going all in chat, member. I just simply didn't really like the writing very much. It seemed uh, like it was written by a bunch of uh, hack frauds. And if I wanted to watch a movie by hack frauds, I'd just watch Space Cop. She literally got her big break playing a corpse. Uh, what was she... What was she in? Uh, she was a corpse. Yeah, I need one more space cartridge. What the heck? Oh. Let alone the fact that she thinks Mary Sue is sexist. Uh, from a writer, I see Mary Sue and I... I know Mary Sue when I see one. Well, I mean, that... It's pretty fucking stupid, because, like... Gary Stews are literally a thing. It's just the male equivalent of a Mary Sue, no? Like... It's some TV show episode, people often joke about that. Is it, uh... I feel like that might have been Bones. I don't know why. 
JJ writes most of the sci-fi media the same except for Star Trek, which is somehow worse than modern Star Wars. Yeah, J uh, JJ Star Trek is pretty bad. Though I would argue JJ Abrams uh, is the the least problematic writer of modern Star Wars and that um Ryan Johnson is fucking awful. Also, Gary Stews are objectively better. Kazuma from Konosuba is an example, and he's fucking awesome. Well, listen, I aspire to be a man like, like, like Kazuma, you know? I'm, uh, I'm... Okay. Again, so uh, any enemy in this game that uses uh, lasers is awful. This is factual. This is my actual opinion as a uh, as a as a gamer, as someone who uh, does not make a living related to video games. I, I just play video games. Right? I'm not a I'm not a game reviewer. I cannot uh, take money for good reviews. Uh, however, um, if you would like to be able to see me take money for good reviews. Uh, <laughs> consider liking, commenting, and subscribing uh, so that you can and share it with all your friends so that they can uh, really boost those numbers up and people want to give me uh, money for good reviews be sure to hit the bell oh wait, fuck You can pay me in VHS copies of Nuki. I hear those are quite desirable now. Smash that motherfucking like button and ring that bell. My wife left me and took the kids. Let's go. That's right. That's right. Smooth as my childhood dreams. Listen. Oh, all I'm saying, right, is um, uh, you know, if you want to see me take off, right. Give me money. Next level. Cruel dude thesis. Choir? He won't. The hell he won't. It's me or him now. And I will get what I want. Go forth, young dude, and you'll become a legend. I am the last man standing between glory and total destruction. We're about to witness the third impact, but it's the dude. You know, I really wasn't expecting an Ava referen reference. Fly me to the moon and let me play among us. Oh good, they let me gear up. Cruel Dude Thesis is greater than Cruel Angel no, Thesis. Thousand billion dollars oh, oh, for a living. Witness my true and not even a final form. What? Right, we need we need a Kim we have five akimbo. Didn't see that one coming. It's just like dusk. They just call me a cum stain? I appreciate they got Rick Hunter for that. So many anime jokes in a few seconds. 
the what? Why is it? <laughs> Why is it playing anime music? <laughs> Say, do you like scissoring? Christ Almighty! All right, new plan, new plan. Did he just say said DACA? He did. He did say more DACA. I'm getting all hairy in the wrong places. Didn't see that one coming. Music kit design wants you kill a killer sword or online. It's clearly kill a online. Didn't see that one coming. Did now that's a fine plot twist. So that's who you really are. Yeah, the dude just called himself Tom Stain, though. So it seems like really the, the minigun is like, or the Gatling gun is like the best choice. I say as I accidentally So long, champ. <laughs> it's like Blaney as fuck record. I guess that's why it's called Cruel Dude's Thesis. They say my rock is a blot out the sun? Jesus Christ. Fuck. Yeah, that's a pretty good line. Okay. So that's like a lot of one-shot mechanics I've noticed with this very cool boss. I'm trying, I'm trying. Ouch. Ah! 
You fucker. Souls boss. Except Dark Souls is like a quick save. escape that. I need health. Th there's like no health in this arena? What? Don't get too close. On How much? I don't... for space exploration. As long as it's big, it has a hitbox where I get too close to reach the scout. Well, that's just what I was like. More, man. Well, whatever, I guess it's just it's AI breaks. Nice, you know, anime battle. See, dude, you cannot beat me. And you know why? Because I can't be destroyed. What, what, huh? I can't be erased. They did the what meme. The... Yes, I cannot be vanquished. Every time My you kill me, memes. I become stronger. I am you and you are me. I'm like a fucking young Ian persona. A cancer at the back of the head. The demon that won't let you sleep at night. No way. Yes, way. All that time. I was playing with myself. You too. <laughs> you see, you cannot cancel me. Whenever you try to forget about me or just dismiss my existence, I grow stronger, mightier. We've had this conversation many, many times, and each time I only grow stronger. There will be no escape, no salvation, no forget- Huh, never thought that would work. Who thought destroying a part of my easy could be so brain? Although, fuck, now I can't remember my childhood potty training. <laughs> Still a little bit low-key. Wait, just a sec. Base. Well, there can only be one ending to this story. Ah. Uh, I pissed himself. Uh. The fuck? Who peed all over my couch? <laughs> Paper strange. That was uh that was postal brain damage. Ooh, we did it. We beat the dude. Uh, I don't really have much more to say uh, other than uh, we're gonna have a quick BRB and when we get back we will be playing uh, Field Intensity, a Half-Life mod. So uh, stick around, listen to some tunes, and uh, go grab yourself a drink. I'm gonna grab myself a drink, so uh, BRB. <laughs> 